What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we got another Monday ramble here. Um, first and foremost, I hope everybody had a, a great weekend. Um, had, a, had a pretty good one myself. Uh, got some fishing and always fun to do some fishing, you know. Spend some time with the, the little ones and, you know, other people that you haven't seen um, quite as often, right? And... You know, hey, my son was happy. He caught three, three perch, and then he was done with fishing. He's like, I did, I did it all, Dad. I'm out of here. You know, <laughs> walk off Homer. So, but you know, he had a lot of fun doing that. Got to hold the fishies and stuff like that. Um, I caught only one fish, but it is what it is. Uh, better than catching zero fish. And you know, I wasn't really looking for like the panfish. So, uh, catch and release. Well, they caught some bluegills and. Uh, they kept those guys, but, um, I don't know. I just, I was just looking for like walleyes and northern and stuff like that. So, uh, it was really fun, nice and relaxing. So I guess that's going to bring us into this next ramble. Um, you know, finding something that helps you relax, something that helps you keep your mind from, you know, the stresses, you know, it was, it was really nice to get away talk to some other, you know, decent human beings about, you know, life in general and uh, where where those things are going to take you or something like that, you know, or whatever you're striving for or short-term goals or what you're currently working on, you know, uh, very cool things like that. Ask them how, you know, uh, any kind of interesting, cool stories that they had um, since the last time that you spoke, you know. Um, so it's 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 a tough challenge to do right is to uh, uh de-stress and not think about work for a lot of people that are highly stressed out that are constantly thinking about what they have to do at work they don't think they get enough time or uh, something like that right um maybe they do take some time off maybe they don't necessarily do anything with that time you know um so I guess you got to try to find a way to utilize your time even when you're taking time off. Um, you know, maybe going camping with your, your kids, maybe uh, trying to set something up with some friends or something, you know. Uh, maybe big, you can go look for Bigfoot or something, even if you don't believe in it. Uh, but it's something to do with other people, an excuse to get out, right? Um, but, you know, the people are going to believe in it as well. Maybe you'll just find a mountain lion or something and uh, get mauled. <laughs> Hopefully not. But uh, regardless, you know, it's it's about trying to get out there and stop thinking about the stresses of like everyday life, right? You're you're constantly sitting there. Maybe maybe you're digging at yourself all the time. You know, uh, there's a lot of people who, you know, I see that are uh, stressed out, that they're depressed, that they're, you know, they're constantly. Um, in this the state of mind of of defeat you know what i mean and they but they like they don't take time off and they don't do uh plan things out to uh, you know hang out with their kids or they don't you know stuff like that there's there's many people that do but there's some that don't and you know they're stressed out all the time they're thinking about work and some of the things that kind of seem meaningless you know what i mean um, because they have nothing else to look forward for because that's all that they worry about. Right. And now I'm not saying that's a bad thing because we, you need people that worry about all that stuff. Right. But it's a bad thing for them because that's all they're thinking about because you know, their, their mental aspect might be compromised because they're just, they, they, they take on all the responsibility of thinking about those things and how to do it or whatever but and they take on all the and they take on all the the stupid that comes along with that right all the problems that come with it um and then they just constantly think about it right and it's a tough thing to let go it's always tough when uh things don't go your way when uh you gotta figure it out and sometimes you may not think that somebody's trying to help you or help you get it done but they're look they're leaning on you to do that right and uh you feel like you're doing it alone or that's how you perceive it right and it, it, it's almost like 
it, it's just kicking your ass and you just keep going and you got to keep going and it doesn't matter if it's something new or something different that uh, the outcome is going to be the same. The results are the same whenever you move on to something else. So, um, you know, it, it, when you come into that part of your life and that's how you feel and that's how you think and that's uh, to you the only thing that's happening uh, you're going to be in a, a, a much worse place than, uh, you know, somebody that uh, comes in. I mean, they, they do what they can, but they go home, you know, and they don't think about work. They don't think about that kind of stuff. They don't worry about what went wrong because they're at home. They're, they're doing stuff with their family. They're, you know, they made these plans to go do things. And you know what? When they're not at work, they're not thinking about it. And, you know. It's, it's not, it's easier said than done for a lot of people that, you know, worry about those kind of stuff. But, you know, when you get home, it might not hurt to throw your feet up. It might not hurt to go and experience things locally. Go to a zoo with your kids or something. Go, or with a friend or something, stuff like that. You know, you don't have to always be at home. You don't always, you know, sometimes that may involve you planning it out ahead of time and, um, you know, communicating with some other people that you want to go with. But, you know, these things are key things to help keep you from uh, overworking yourself, overstressing yourself, and, uh, you know, losing your mental sanity in a sense, right? And I don't know. I, always, I don't know about anybody else, but I feel pretty good when I, I, after a long, you know, a long weekend of hanging out with some, some pretty cool people, some awesome people, some great friends, some great family or something like that. And, you know, not one second did you think about work. Did you not think about uh, your daily stresses in life, right? And it makes it, it makes, you know, the day go, the, the week it anyway go by that much easier and things like that. So, but when you're, that's the hard part, right? you you're finding things to do, so um, you can lift weights, you can uh, work out, you can do whatever, you know, I always, always say that, but um, whether or not you, you go out there and actively look for events that are going on that you can possibly sign up for or uh, get involved with to meet new people or bring existing people in your life with you to do that stuff, you know, um, but like if you, you see something on Facebook, you know, take your friend that you want to hang out with um, or uh, multiple people. And you're like, you, any of you guys want to do this? I'm down for some teams. I'm close by. I can sign us up or something. You know, it's been years. Let's hang out or whatever. And uh, go about it that way, right? And it's it could be a really fun thing. It could be the spur of the, a spur of the moment thing. But it could also be one of the best things that happened to you in a while. So it'll, it can uh, get, get your mind off of that BS that um, is happening to you in everyday life and uh, everyday in general, right? And uh, maybe even help you out a little bit thinking uh, to get your mind off of uh, that internal loneliness or whatever it is that's affecting you mentally or, uh, you know, spiritually maybe, you know? Um, maybe you're not spiritual. I'm not. I'm not super spiritual, but I do believe in uh, certain ways. You know what I mean. And I think that you know, what, in whatever way you believe in, that that uh, that also gets a uh, that pays uh, plays a lot into your psyche as well, right? Um, I was talking to one of our custodial guys, and he was talking about this gathering of uh, like Christians and stuff like that, and he was talking about how beautiful it was to see. So many people they haven't seen in like 20 plus years or something like that to see that they're still kicking, that they're still working hard and various things like that, right? And, you know, I'm not Christian, but I do, <laughs> I do like a good story. I do like to hear about dope events like that um, put on by people that um, care about each other or they care about something enough to show up to it and, uh, you know, share their beliefs to make sure that uh, maybe maybe somebody that, that they haven't seen in a while is doing all right and ask how they're doing or something. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know. It's like every, every culture, every religion, 
they're going to have the problems, right? They're going to have their ups and downs for the people that are, are involved in, in said beliefs or whatever, you know, because as we know it, not everybody's perfect. Not everybody is. And uh, if you sit there and you think about it all the time, it, it's going to destroy you. And it, it, it'll destroy anybody, even the strongest willed person in this world. If they sat there in their own room in the dark, just thinking about the stresses of every day, just thinking about it, they would drive themselves insane. Absolutely insane, right? Uh, they have studies that have been shown that if you, as long as if you're doing something and you're keeping your mind off of it and not sitting there thinking about those stresses, thinking about that bad that you consider bad, you know, um, then, you know, you're a little bit better off at least that your mi mind's doing better, you're getting uh, productive blood flow going, you're, you know, so if you're sitting there stressed thinking about these things, maybe that's something to also think about, right? Is to maybe get up and move. Uh, maybe you could just start walking. You know, that's something simple. Something real simple, but it, it's also time-consuming if you go for really long walks. Um, or, you know, you could read books. People love to read books. It, uh, it's a escape from reality. It's escape from um, that that inner self that maybe you're stressed out about. So, and, you know, it's... Maybe not perfect, nothing's going to be perfect, but maybe you'll come come to uh, a world that you, you really enjoy, right? Uh, henceforth, like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that. There's a lot of people that I know that love that Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I've never got a chance to play it, but I mean, I could very easily, I guess, but you know, it's just, you're busy with everything else and perfectly content with that, perfectly happy with that stuff. And, you know, uh, maybe one day, maybe one day, you know, that, that'd be something that I want to try out once. But I think I'm kind of scared of it. Um, you know, I'm not afraid to admit that, that I'm, I'm uh, because I'm not like the brightest guy when it comes to that kind of stuff. But it's also because I've never experienced that. So I'm in my head and I'm thinking about it. And, you know, I talk myself out of it or whatever. But I'm honest about it, right? I'm like, eh, I don't know, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, it's just, I'm not ready to do it, right? I'm, I'm too busy doing other things, and I'm happy with those things. And, you know, it, it's pretty cool to, to uh, know that, that you yourself can acknowledge those things. And it's, sometimes that's a hard thing to do, right? It's hard to acknowledge some of these things. It's hard to be a little bit more realistic with yourself, right? Um uh, and that's like that kind of ties into the story or this this ramble rather, because um, you know sometimes there's you you have opportunities that you might be invited out with people that maybe consider you a friend, you know, and you know they just want to hang out with you. They want to have uh, at least a guys' night or girls' night or whatever the kind of night, and you know you've been invited and maybe you you get scared you get cold feet you flake out you know and uh you in your mind you're you're scared right you could be scared you could be uh you could be telling yourself a whole bunch of shit you know um but in the end of the day that's 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 on you you know it's not gonna they're not if you do that to somebody you're telling them pretty much fuck you right i don't it's whatever and and it, and in your mind, you might be saying something else, but to those other people, that's that's what you're saying, right? You're saying, "Fuck you, I don't whatever," you know. Uh, you're putting yourself above what you said that you were going to do or something, and they might not talk to you again or something. They might not reach out to you. Maybe they message you multiple times and you just continue not to answer. You uh, you couldn't you just continue to run away, you know. It's like, who are you running from? You're running from yourself, you know? You Are you, you, uh, you're running away from that mental stability that maybe you want to build, right? You, some, some people, they call themselves weird. They call themselves, uh, you know, you could be introverted, you know? I'm kind of introverted too, but uh, the thing is, when you say you're going to do something, 
you kind of got to, you know what I mean? Uh, it's your word, and that tells people who you are as an individual. I'm um, sure maybe you're scared. Everybody's scared. Everybody's scared to show up to anything, no matter how big the event is. 100,000 people, maybe two other people, maybe even one. Uh, we all, we're all kind of nervous about it, you know? You're hanging out with somebody or someones or many someones, you know? And uh, it'll get to... It can get to anybody that's thinking about it enough, you know. Um, I don't, like, a lot of people, they're like, how do you uh, stay so calm in certain situations, right? Uh, this is a technique I developed in high school when I started playing basketball because at first I would just get so nervous. I was thinking about the basketball game. What's, what'll happen? Well, my shorts fell down when I'm running down the court or something, you know. And uh, I just started doing random shit, working out, um, not thinking at all about the basketball game. I wouldn't look at a calendar or anything. Uh, the only, only way I would remember is that, you know, <laughs> the high school would be like, you got a game today? And it's like, oh, cool, all right. And then I think about it because I'm, you know, hanging out with friends and stuff. It's almost like that short-term memory thing, right? That way I didn't put pressure on myself. I didn't, you know, I'm kind of trying to build that up because now as I became an adult, because um, you got to, kind of plan ahead plan ahead um I, I try i try to do that a lot more especially when it comes to doing things with uh other people right or else i'm gonna psych myself out and i'm gonna overthink something that doesn't involve overthinking so but you know uh, you got to kind of mask it with what you're doing in your life you know playing video games uh streaming uh working out um, you can be out there doing sports, you know, uh, you can be writing music, you could be making music, you could be, um, gold dang playing marbles all day for all I know. Um, but anyways, whatever that case may be, um, it'll help keep you away from overthinking something and maybe keeping yourself from, uh, going out and enjoying your life a little bit more and staying out of that cluster out of that stress and out of that that mindset that maybe you have that you think that you know people like hate you or something that you know maybe I got a stupid smile or something you know whatever that case is you think you're just weird which everybody's fucking weird in their own way so don't ever be ashamed of it just whenever you have an opportunity you should always take it right you should always at least go see what it's about uh, you know worst case scenario you don't go back to it. You don't do it ever again. You don't, you know, you don't speak about it. <laughs> but um, at least check it out and see what it's about and see if that's something for you to at least dabble in a little bit, right? And sure, it could be scary, but, you know, part of be, be, being a grown-up is overcoming your fear sometimes. And sometimes that biggest fear is always ourselves. It's always us thinking about it, overthinking it, and making it something that it's it's not really that it's 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 something to be afraid of when in all reality it's not. It's just something that you got to get used to doing again and um, going out there and uh, doing things that keep your mind off of things. You know, it's it sounds simple, it's never that simple because of uh, the the way we are as human beings, right? We're always overthinking things we're creating weird scenarios in our head possibly and that's that's holding us back and you just gotta try to reteach yourself how to um do these things and keep yourself going and you know it's it's gonna be hard but you can do it man i mean uh, it's a work in progress but you just gotta do your best every day so uh but I uh, hope you guys have a great one. Thanks for tuning in. This was a little bit longer than a typical ramble. And uh, for whoever made it here this far, if you're new, uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a good one. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, especially if you enjoyed it. And welcome to the community. If um, you're somebody that uh, is returning, hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I always appreciate a return viewer, you know, uh, anybody that watches. I appreciate it uh, always, you know, and uh, I hope you have a great one. And uh, if, if this helped you a little bit, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. So peace out. Have a good one.